Welcome back once again to another Shark Show. We have a special edition for COVID-19 update for Hood County. And we had put a graphic out uh, yesterday. Yeah. But this has been going on for about 36 hours or so that uh, the governor put out on his GA32 order. And now we have a Region E basically shut down because of the bed space being over 15% for our region. Yeah. Nate, would you like to explain uh, what we put out the other day? Yeah, so the other day we put out this graphic, and uh, the title of it is New COVID Lockdown, which under GA32, uh, you know, went into effect immediately, uh, depending on who you ask. Uh, some people here in the county say we're waiting on a letter. Uh, Judge Clay Jenkins, one of our <laughs> uh, Democrat judges over there in <laughs> Dallas yeah. County, and uh, Judge Whitley over in Tarrant, they said it takes effect immediately. Uh, locals are saying they're waiting on a letter. We'll see what they choose to do. But what we put out was that under GA32, which is Abbott's executive orders, uh, bars are to be 100% closed. Elective surgeries are suspended. Uh, retail offices, gyms, and restaurants are all supposed to scale back to 50%. Right. And those elective surgeries are very important. We should have never stopped those to begin with. But, you know, when you talk about more shutdowns, you could say it sugar-coated anyway. Roll yeah. back, shut down. The rollbacks, yeah. Right. It's uh, It changes a whole lot. So is our county going to keep following Governor Abbott as they have in the past, or are they going to step up and say no more? Right, because they had previously um, passed a resolution where they were uh, going to deem all people and businesses in Hood County essential. So hopefully they stand by that resolution and we keep the businesses and people in Hood County deemed essential. Right. And when they talk about the letter, the attestation letter, what is what does that really mean? When you have this trauma service area from GA32, there's certain counties, obviously, that that may not apply to. So this letter is a form and you can go online and pull up the form to see for yourself that our county judge would send in. Or Webster. Or Webster. Yeah, right. <laughs> that they would send in to our governor and let them know, hey, this doesn't apply to our um, county and we're exempt. We're, we're not going to have to follow these orders. Right. And that, that comes in, you know, we haven't heard anything for 36 hours. And, you know, Jay Webster, emergency management coordinator, and the judge are supposed to you know, they always say they're working 24-7 on this, but where's the direction from the county? Well, it's interesting because right now, Lake Granbury Medical Center has 96 beds, right, total. Mm -hmm. However, okay. they're staffing only because they have a staffing issue, a major staffing issue at Lake Granbury Medical Center. They only have enough staff to cover about 60 beds, a little fewer than 60 beds. So when they say that we are 15% covid uh positive patients in the hospital they don't mean out of that 96 which would be about 15 people they mean we've got about eight maybe nine people in there mm -hmm. that are covid positive and then i also heard the icu has some patients that are covid out of other counties so that you're looking at what seven eight beds maybe and we're still above that 15 percent. yes and it's you know it's kind of like a shell game yeah and, the, and when you factor that in with the icu beds that doesn't necessarily mean it's people in Hood County that have come down with COVID. It's because we've had taken in other people from these other counties as well. Right. So. And, and you're looking at the 36 hours we had, you know, once we got this and the news broke and everything. Didn't they have some emergency meetings um, that, Nate, you were out there on the ground reporting. Yeah. So they've had several meetings leading up to this with hospital staff, hospital personnel, city, county, and now nothing. You know, and it's interesting, uh, one of my sources within the meeting that took place the day before the one I went to, it was, I believe, last Wednesday or the Wednesday before, he said that the hospital capacity was one of the big things they were talking about. And it's because they know that if we get over that 15% threshold, we go back into these shutdowns, these lockdowns, or as they call them, rollbacks. It shows me that our county government, especially emergency operations manager Jay Webster, would rather keep people in the dark than actually tell them what's going on. And for the last 36 hours, we've been in the dark. We're having to go to Fox 4 and, and uh, you know, metropolitan news outlets to get this information and piece it together for ourselves, whereas our local leaders, you know, it's nothing but crickets. And people are calling us yeah. and emailing us and say, hey, what's going on? And, and we sent out a... Your, your post about call your elected officials, call your emergency management email, 
And then what we have is out of all these meetings that take place, we have what? We have the city of Granbury and Hood County that put out their letter, I believe it was on November 25th. Yeah. And it, and it talks about in bold at the bottom, at this time, comma, our local leadership is not considering any community shutdowns. Everyone's cooperation and following these guidelines is appreciated. So you got the what? The proverbial... At this, this time. time. Right. right. So that means we don't have these plans, but that could change. Yeah, according to the governor, according to what they followed all along. Right. Yeah. And, you know, those plans wouldn't come from the county necessarily. They're covered under GA32 mm-hmm. and uh, Abbott's other orders from this year. So they're uh, what I call wordsmithing, where they're saying something to give people an idea, but it's not really how it is. And guys, we're here to tell you how it actually is. Right. And... And you go up above the the last line that's in bold, and it says, additionally, please do your part in stopping the spread of misinformation. There's no misinformation here. It's it's all on the website. You can go to the governor's website. You can go to DISH's website. And you can find this information for yourself. I had a few people ask me, where did we get this information from? Like, how did we know this? And I think because they're not hearing from the elected officials, they're second guessing like where is some of this information coming from well it's coming from the government it's coming from our governor it's coming from the the dishes website it's coming from the sources that our elected officials here in hood county should also be right. speaking about it is it's on top as on top of things they seem to be with all these meetings they've been having why are we hearing anything now yeah don't spread rumors you know don't listen to rumors get your information from a trusted source. Well, there's no rumors to be had because the information is coming straight from dishes Mm -hmm. and trust a, your trusted source. Well, where is the County? You know, I would rather them either follow along with what they've been doing and put out their COVID posts or do nothing at all, which they should do Mm -hmm. and protect the citizens via the constitution. Yeah. That's what they should do. You know, and they've got a choice right now. They can either, abide by the resolution that was passed unanimously saying basically we're not doing any more of this shutdown nonsense or they're going to go back to what they were doing all year which was just toe the governor's line yeah so much for the resolution on you know everybody's essential every business is essential because basically according to this they're not so i hope they're trying to do the letter uh, to get you know hood county back out into the 75 percent but the, the best thing and the easiest thing to do would be just say, hey, look, we're open. Keep doing what you're doing. But put that out as a county. Don't yeah. let people just kind of flail in the wind. Right. In addition to the letter that uh, Hood County and the city of Granbury put out last week, uh, Dave Eagle has put something on the agenda coming up for Tuesday. Courtney, you want to tell us a little about that? Yeah, so it's actually quite an interesting thing. It's called the Great Barrington Declaration. And you can go to, it's the gbdeclaration.org. You can go to the website and you can look it up for yourself and read it. And it's actually quite interesting. Um, There's a lot of common sense approaches in here that we have been discussing. And a lot of the people in Hood County have been discussing why aren't we doing this? This is what makes the most sense. So if you go in here, you take the time to read this declaration, it has a lot of those common sense approaches listed out in here. For example, um, the ones who are most high risk, those are the ones who should be sheltering in place if they so choose, because that's the most at at risk population. You know, everyone else go about, live your life. It, you know, the data shows that this is not something we should be afraid of. If you don't have underlying health conditions, if you're not high risk, go about, do your thing. And then we can build up, that's one of the ways that we can build up this herd immunity that is eventually going to protect right. that at-risk population. And this yeah. is worldwide. I mean, this is, you know, this is 50,000 plus people have signed this, uh, uh, Nobel physicians that have signed this. So this isn't just some off the hook thing. Right. This is actually something that was put together by some renowned doctors and epidemiologists from around the world. And countries around the world are taking part in this. And it's a, it's a really good, in my opinion, it's a really good uh, approach to take with 
this type of situation. Yeah, and we're going to hear about that from uh, Dave Eagle. If you can make Commissioner's Court, it'll be this Tuesday, 9 a.m. at the Hood County Justice Center in the Central Jewelry Room. Guys, we appreciate you tuning in. Uh, be sure to like and share on Facebook and other social medias. Thank you, Nate. And this has been a special COVID Chinese virus edition. Shark Show out.